pussy and daisies. Pi Litty. At this very moment in the town of Kuchra Kolaris, young Ned was nine years, twenty-seven weeks. His dog did be was three years, five hours, and nine minutes old, and not a minute older. This is the moment young Z- Ned realised he wasn't like the other children, nor was he like anyone else for that matter. Young Ned could touch dead things and bring them back to life. This touch was a gift given to him, not to buy anyone in particular. You know, there's no box, no instructions, no manufacturer's warranty. It was, it was the terms of use. It was immediately clear, nor were there any immediate concern. Young Ned was in love. Her name was Chuck. At this very moment, she was eight years, 42 weeks, 48 hours, and two minutes old. Young Ned did not think of her being born or hatched or conceived in any way. Chuck came ready-made from the Play-Doh fun factory of life. In imaginations, young Ned, a girl named Chuck, conquered the world. Long after the play date was over, young Ned remained under Chuck's spell until a blood vessel in his mother's brain burst, killing her instantly. I must have slipped, clumsy. Did the time go off? Young Ned's random gift. That was... That was, was was came with a cavity or two. The gift and did not that did not that only gave it took. Young Ned discovered he could only bring the dead back to life for one minute, one minute without consequences. Any longer, and someone else had to die. A grand universal scheme of things. Young Ned had traded his mother's life for Chuck's father. Fathers, come on, big dad. Daddy into bed, and there was no. Well, there was one thing about this touching dead things a young man didn't know. He learned in a moment. He learned it in the most unfortunate way. First touch, life. Second touch, dead again forever. He may give me to lie down the green pastures. He laid his me beside. Of a brief morning, young period, young Ned, that Ned's father, would hustle him off to boarding school. Never to see him again, see him again. Chuck will be fostered by aunts, Lily and Vivian, a noun sophisticated swimming duo, duo sim, sympathized swimming duo, who they share matching personality disorders, love for fine cheese. As their respective parents, Phil's dizzy with grief, Curiously hormones, young Ned, a girl named Chuck, had a first and only kiss. Of his mother death, Ned avoided social attachments, fearing he'd do it, it do if someone else he loved died. Because and became obsessed with pies in, in its 19 years, 34 weeks, one day, 59 minutes after, later, therefore, known as the now, young Ned had become the pie maker. And this is where he makes his pies. A peach is never brown, the dead, the dead fruit in his hands become ripe with everlasting flower of fever. As long as he only touches it once, every day I pick up a pie and concentrate all my love on that, on that pie because I love it. If I love it, someone else is going to love it. Now, you know what? By the end of the day, I saw more of those pies than any other in the bakery. A pie do you love them? Do you love today? What pie do you love today, Rhubarb? Mmm, I'll stick with pre plum. La 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 mood. Mmm, Emerson Cod was the soul keeper of the pie maker's secret. This is how he came to be the soul keeper of the pie maker's secret. A private investigator, Mr. Cod, met the pie maker when his, pi- when his pie hull was on the verge of financial ruin. Whoa! Hi, Mr. Cod proposed a partnership. Murders are much easier to solve when you ask the victim who killed him. Pie maker reluctantly agreed. I ask you not to use zombie. It's disrespectful. Standing around for brains. That's not what how they do. Undead? No, he wants to be any any un anything. Why begin with a negative? That's just saying I don't agree. I disagree. I don't disagree. You say it, you agree. Are you comfortable with the living dead? You're neither, you're neither living or dead. 
When you're dead, that's what you are. And when you're dead, and you don't, you're not, you're alive again. Can't we say alive again? Doesn't that sound nice? Sounds like a, a ne- nectar leptidic. I suffer from sudden uncontrollable attacks of deep sleep. That's the other, what's the other one? Ne- Mimpophiliac. Words that sound, that sound like get mixed up with my head. Me too. I used to think masturbation meant chewing your, your, your food. I don't think that anymore. Can you lock the door behind you? So you went in, went in on this opportunity or not? A dog is involved? What kind of dog? Gonna be a dead dog. Casalopi is putting her down. Allegedly killed her owner. Allegedly, Calopi was framed. Someone's got put a part of the victim in her mouth, huh? Does so as a kitten, says the family. A chow. The breed most likely to turn on its owner. Hey, that's radical profiling. Look here, if the dog is innocent, that, then it's murder. If it's murder, then there's a reward. The facts are these. One Leonard Goodswit, three hours and 26 minutes old, was found mauled to death in his office, home office. His dog, Kirkpilope, was some witness and only suspect of the murder. in the murder. Convinced of her innocence, the Gus Witt family offered a significant reward for finding a real killer. You're the, de- you the de- dog expert? Uh-huh. Already had a dog expert. Mm-hmm. Another one. Uh-huh. How did he look? Fine, but my fresh, my, but on my threshold time to take what I can say from the grain, with a grain of salt. Eight grain. That's one of those blocks they give you, give cows to lick. You can't, he can't help how he is. That that doesn't make make, make it less traumatic for who me. I suppose for him, but mainly me. I want to wait outside. Hmm. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Uh. So you said me, Mister Goswit or oh, Leonard? Do do you prefer Leo? No. Your loca- current location edition. I do. I have something right here. No. There's nothing right there. Damn dog, Gus the Catalope. No, no, Catalope's dose was a kitten. It was that rock one, and my secretary spiced her dog, spiced her dog on me. She'd been upset since, since last Christmas party. So funny story. I was a chow, the secretary, with a, with a rock one. Hmm. Her good name cleared, her execution stayed, Catalope was freed. Scurry and a rock one were more to justice. Hold your justice. An anonymous tip led to the solving the murder of an emperor thought to be mauled to death by the family pet. The truth, however, and far more sinister, Ollie Snook enjoyed a time with Digby. He was suffocate, suffocate, suffocate to the human connection she wanted a pie maker. He, she had desperate attempts to connect to someone so disconnected terrified him. But that didn't stop him from her from trying. How was, was your convention conventional? How was Digby neurotic? He's a very needy dog. Do you pet him? Maybe if you pet him, he won't be so neurotic. I pet him. I'm allergic, so I can't touch him. But I pet do I pet him? With a stick, how do you pet him? A stick is involved. That's but it's more like a handle. Uh Pretty device. A girl needs to be touched. All you ne- we all need to be touched. You to touch him. There are other people touch him. He's your dog. Do you touch anything? Of course I do. I do touch lots of things with affection. Then, when was the last time someone touched you with affection? I get touched. Can you get Digby Sleesh now? You, you don't mind. I don't touch you. Do you? And then came the event that changed everything. The body of a young woman murdered aboard a cruise ship had been recovered from the sea. Victim's identity was being withheld. Pie maker listened to the news unaware. He stopped breathing. He was taunted by the famous woman who held her end on the, we met her end, the high seas of white. So, well, here's, here's your leash. But he didn't know why. Her name was still withheld. Very little known the victim who was travelling alone when murdered aboard a passenger ship was turning from typical cruise, typical cruise sailing between the United States and Tahiti. 
The ship's captain initially dismissed the death as an accident, suggesting the victim very late, late, late suggesting the victim lately returned from late night out. Heard herself? Been watching the news? Yeah. There doesn't seem like much going on besides a dead girl on a boat. A lot going on with that dead girl. That's so? Hmm, $50,000 worth. You interested in conversation? I could be persuaded. You better be quick. The girl is about to go to the ground. You just pulled her out of the water. Jewish. Christians leave them lying around. Jews gotta get them buried. Where? Go to the corridors. Where you been there? I grew up there, sort of. A dead girl, she, she had a name. Charlotte, uh, Ch- Ch- Charles Duck. The poem maker never returned to Cordes, Cordes. After being sent away to school, but he, f- but he fought Chuck, fought the Chuck every day. You know this girl? I know of her. Know of her in a biblical sense. Haven't forgot, haven't thought of her since she was ten. Think of her a lot when she was te- well, ten. Don't you, don't you remember anything when I was ten? Pie maker remembers everything. The facts were they, are the, these. Charlotte, Ch- Charlotte Charles, 11 hours and 51 minutes old, was found floating in the ocean moments after her body was discarded there. Discarded by whom seemed to be a question that only Charlotte Clark could answer. Aha, uh-huh. a trainer director always eager to supplement his income. Gentleman was un- one happy to grant the deceased an audience. Ah, I just wanna, I wanna, can I go? Do this one alone? Oh, can't you know the whole historical context? Something's personal. You may need to, you need to say no. Okay, maybe. But there's nothing to gain but a small amount of closure. And what do you get, got to open? When you got to, got to, got, when you got so open? In the closing, hmm. I just want to say I'm sorry for something. Well, one of those stupid things kids do. Yeah, well, you asked who killed her first, okay. You only got a minute. I know, 60 seconds, all right. Only Prince Charming could know how the point maker felt upon looking at her. Great thought was taken as to where she touched her. To where, as where to touch her. Her lips were too forward. A cheek, a cheek. Oh, check, wait. Hey, where, who are you? Do you remember the boy who lived next door when your dad died? Ned. Oh my god, hell. Hey, how old are you? Good. Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, you look great. Do you know what's happening right now? I had a strange, a strange dream. I've been strained with a plastic rock sack. We strained with a plastic sack. That's an odd thing to hear. But not quite sure how to sif- sif- shoot a coat it. Oh, oh. You have only a minute or less. What can I do in less than a minute? You can tell me who killed you. So, who you know, justice can be served. What's sweet? That's sweet, but I do not know. I went... I went to get ice. I dropped my key. I was thinking, that was dumb. As he was thinking, that was dumb. Chuck could have wrenched, uh, strangled the death with a plastic sack. Then you touched my cheek. What's going on? Wait a minute, second. It's time, it's my time up. I'm sorry. Well, thanks for calling me Chuck. Do you know? No one's called me Chuck uh, since, since, since you, you used to, when I lived next door to you, I had a cool, cool, I was, I was in, you were my first kiss, yeah, you were my first kiss too, you want to be my last kiss, first and last, is that the weird, that's not weird, it's so mental. Chuck's minute of life was nearly over, Pinemaker's lips went as far as they could do, go, he couldn't, he couldn't will them to go any further. As a consequence of the funeral director, the moon would not go further. He didn't want to kiss me. It's okay. I just want to, I thought he might be, might be, no. I want to do, I want to, I do. Where, what if you don't have to be, what if you don't have to, to be dead? Well, that's preferable. So nobody can, no. Hop in. I want to think of a way to get you out of here. Can you lie really still till I go back? Hmm? Don't know. Someone just threw her carcass out of a boat. Why are you sweating? It's warm in here.
They're right. What? Your eyes twitching, my lit eye. Your eyes twitching. When people aren't being honest, their eyes twitch. Their eye twitches. Right there. Look like, like yours just done, just now. It's nerves agitated by stomach thing. It's like acid reflux by my eye. I think I'm going to stay for, going to stay for the service. Is that so? Just feeling no energetic. There's a, there's a, no energetic. Remember how to get back to the station. It's down the, oh, I catch the bus, the bus. Lying in the dark. Chuck considered how she came to be lying in the dark. She considered the life that was with it. Like life was with Lin, Lance, Linda, and Vivian, the person with disorders just blossomed to capabilities, social phobias, which made it difficult for them to t- leave the house. When it t- in turn made it difficult for Chuck to leave them, she turned her community by harvesting honey for the homeless. She never stayed far from home. Never stayed far from home. She read about people. She c- could never be. And I mean, uh, adventures she would she would never have she would never have life was good enough until one day it wasn't Chuck wanted more but a uh, great trouble we could travel with great she got more than she bargained for I think it's summer she got more than she bargained for Oh, hey, I think some of the truck's on fire. Oh, jeez, sorry I'm late. Only Sleeping Beauty could know how she felt at this moment. I can't hug you. What do you mean? If you want, what if you need a hug? A hug can turn your day around. I'm not a fan of the hug. It's like emotional hemorrhage. 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 Someone puts their arms around you. You give them, give you a squeeze, and only, and all your feet anxiety comes through, shooting out of your mouth. The wild, big, wet, big, wet wad. That's fine for for someone else to do. If I'm choking on something, but you can't touch me. So kiss it out. Is that the question? I lost my train of thought. Mm. How long have you been thinking about this? I haven't. I it wasn't premeditated. I wasn't lying, in fact. Now, more than like I was musing on the idea. Now you know, dar- da- no, darling. There are times I did dwell on you, about you, about you. I didn't, but I wasn't seriously considering till the, the exact moment I did it. And I did it. I didn't do it. I was always one. If you come back, I guess you come back when I needed you most. Well, that would have been before I was killed. But this worked out. You understand? You don't go back like right. You can't see your aunts. They all go, go off their rockers without me. It's all like they, it's not like they could talk to anybody. People aren't used to this. Issues of morality. She's not a dead anymore. That I'm a lid, a limited. It's a disaster. Well, I suppose dying is a good excuse as any to start living. Is it, oh, this is Digby. Wasn't your, uh, was it your old dog called Dibby? I was named Dibby. This is him. Did you see? Did you? Uh, 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 did you? This is him. Did you? Well, wasn't I supposed to be dying as good excuse to start living? Oh, this is Digby. Wasn't your old dog named Digby? This is him. Did you? And now, how now? He's here. You seem to do. Do that a lot. Why do you do that a lot? It's just, it, just two of you. I hate to be a bad host, but I still have exhausted from chasing your old coffin. My old yeah, of course. I'm going to sleep here. You take the bed. I insist, sir. Oh, my eyes are rolling back into my head. Head, I lie down, down now. I kiss. If you, if you kiss, if I kiss you, you wouldn't kill me. 28. Your old lonely tourist, Charlotte Charles, is laid to rest. She's survived by her aunts, Vivian and Lily Charles. Strange bed. Watching her phone fall. An evening news. Chuck was struck by her nudified nature of celebrity. Now wants to be famous for the way they died. Bad treat, trouble. Trevor Boutique was offered $50,000 reward for the murder of Charles. Ned mm-hmm, mm-hmm, would be alive. 
I knew who killed him. Of course, it don't be silly. Sometimes in the news, in the news around the world, it's about the world. You wanted to know who killed me to so justice could be served. I don't think justice was on the menu, but but as an aperitif, it was special for the day. We must drop the metaphor for I won't wouldn't have known if I went to the went for you, for the world. Where are you going to tell me the money or when it when it came up? Whatever doesn't come first. Fifty thousand dollars, twenty-five thousand. I only have a partner, a lot of business. No, that's not the traditional sense. You will touch murdered victims. You ask who killed them, and then you touch them again. They go back to you being dead, and then you collect the reward. It's a merch shell. After my reward, I'm not mad at you. I just want to know. I'll be mad at you if I if you lie to me. I don't want your reward. It, I, I, if you're lying, you have no have me scratching the their apes. I'm not, I'm not. Perhaps please don't attack the window treatments. Go, go. Okay, go back to sleep. Now I'm a friend of Ned's. Don't be, doesn't he touch you? So how was the service? You know, you paid my you paid your respects. You wasn't looking to get paid. Hmm. See a dead woman speaking to you in conference. Conference, conf- confidence is a property to make money for you, by your own son. Regardless of prior arrangements, there's no opportunity here. Are you the business partner? Yes, ma'am. Perhaps he's uh, found out stairs because he's looked at that girl. Don't look. She doesn't look like a dead girl. She looks exactly like the dead girl. Take that as a compliment. Take, she was pretty, pie time, pie time, been ruminating, I mean pondering, not chewing curd. How about we choose to, we solve my murder and collect the reward? Well, wouldn't that be a poetic? You, she's supposed to be in the ground. I don't want, you, I don't want your reward. I wanted you to get the want the reward fifty thousand dollars a lot lot a lot of money till you take split thirty forty thirty forty for you ain't split thirty thirty forty been running I've been ruminating been pondering not to incurred how about we solve them and my murder and answer the re- reward wouldn't that be poetic? She's supposed to be on the ground. I'm sitting. You don't need what you want to reward. I want you. I knew, I want you not to want, want the reward. Fifty thousand is a lot of money. We have free respect. Thirty, thirty, forty. Are you fair? Forget one. I am trying to die for it. I am not a detective. I make pies. You can't touch. Just don't touch and be done. You can't just touch and be done. Yes, I can. You ain't looking to get paid? Hmm. She's dead. Woman speaking to you to win your confidence opportunity to make money by your lonesome. Regardless of prior arrangements, there's no opportunity here. Are you business partner? Yes, madam. Found him upstairs. Doesn't she look like the dead, dead, dead girl? She looks exactly like the dead, dead girl. Take that as compliment. She was pretty pie time, pie time. A dream ruminating, I mean, producing, pondering, not chewing turd. How about we solve my murder and collect the reward? Wasn't that be poetic? She's supposed to be in the ground. We don't get the, we don't want the reward. I want you to not want the reward. Fifty thousand pounds is a lot of money. Free me split thirty, thirty, forty. Same fair, way of fair. I can get more. I did die for it. I'm not a detective, I make pies. You can't just touch and be done. Oh, yes, I can. There, that's how I roll. Oh, I could do 30, 30, 40. She's supposed to be dead. You're supposed to be dead. This is pushing your luck. Yeah, well, luck pushed me first. It's so shocking, stupid. I had a hard time believing you did it. You agreed to be her partner. It's end to profit from your stupidity.
Are you in love? Because it's as if they were stupid. I admit that being confused, it's a confusing time. Childhood issues, it's all coming up. You know what? We have the childhood issues. Believe me, I've got the full description of horror stories. And he, the kind of killed your dad, where there's eight, ten, maybe not horror stories. She didn't know. I wanted to make it better or different. That's what it was. She, it was her dad. It wasn't what she used to be. I didn't want, and I didn't want to be my, it my fault too. Who died, but, well, who died instead? It's a random proximity thing. Bitch, it was in, I was in proximity. I wasn't thinking. I wonder what happened to him. He was a very, very bad man. He stole stuff from dead people and sold it to the internet. It's tired, it's all in the registry. That's nice. The fact he's a very, very, very bad man makes you feel better. Yes, immediately. I, I felt, never felt horror. It was you, Rosabel. I'm not proud or glad you did it. It makes it one of the first thing I ever seen in significant. Listen to you, judgy judge. Judgy judge. Look, you don't know anything about this girl who said she's just got herself killed. I am not who you think I am. Who think, who does he think you are? Small town girl who never saw the world. Oh, you have the first time out. Alas, what? Well, that's who. I am, but I am, but I've hosted my own perfect, own papa, papa, patard. What's a patard? In my case, it's a tenet, tenet and getaway. Who's the, who's the angel? In my case, it's a Tibetan getaway. It was a devil's bargain. Who's the devil? Then the deferent. Oh, the manager of Bocate. Travel, travel Bocate. She offered me a sea dive and then no cost. Well, it's, it, what I had to do was pick up this package. Well, are you, are you drawn? We all know. I'm a monkey mule. They're monkeys. What are these monkeys? Questions. You died for, di- you died for plastic mon- monkeys. Deirdre said they weren't, weren't worth much. Their value was sentimental. They had been some of the emotional monkeys. You should see Dundee about this, uh, about this, uh, about this, of uh, this. I'm uh, curious to what she has to say, boutique travel, travel, boutique manager, Dundee, Duffield, the hospital. Oh, 50,000 ward, catch a killer before a killer can call her. We all fell short of achieving its desired goal. Oh, I guess I can't be too mad at her. I don't know how they found me. Humiliating. I know, I wonder how long she's been here. He touched the poor bitch and asked her, Okay, I'm, looking, I'm sort of embarrassed to do this in front of you. Hey, Charlotte, hi, Dendi. Now I only know, uh, I know you to be the first person I see when I got to do in this. How, which is this one? Isn't, isn't this maybe, maybe both? Listen, where's the deal? You get to talk like, for a minute. We catch up, then you can't, you're not talking anymore. Does anyone get, go uh, to, to do this? Girl, we gotta break it down. Did you know I was still, I was gonna get killed? I know there might be a possibility. I'm sorry about that. I should have said nothing, something. But to be honest, I'm really, why, well, not, why is not, is the point? It was safe. I learned, I've done it myself. God, this is fantastic. Being honest is fun. I ask who killed her, and what's with the monkeys? Oh, who are these people? That's Emerson. I can't, I don't know him. That's his maid. He was my first kiss. You're adorable. Listen, now listen, look at you. you what you couldn't have scooted back a little. I don't know she was going to touch my cheek. Well, well what does that? And you think she goes, that does, that, that's, that's a lot. Why won't, won't, would anyone kill you? Well, whoever killed you, kill her. You already got these monkeys. I dropped your keen eyes maker. You couldn't get into the room. Oh, for Pete's sake. It's my beloved nightmare. He didn't have, had the monkeys. Are you, when you get murdered, when you get sent for your things, let's look in. It's as you stay there, here. I'm just going to look in the window. You can't. You can have your pie, but you can't eat it.
You can have your pie, but you can't eat it. You're making me hungry. Am I supposed to keep you sane? You must die if anything happened to them. You just die if anything happened to them. I mean, I'll die again. Make sure your aunts are safe. Then I'll, we'll call the police. I wish I could give you an emotional hemorrhagic. So you could cough up the water of fear and anxiety, but I can't. Give me a hug. That's for me. I'll be being on the lily. We're all, we're all Chuck had. And before all Chuck, they all had each other. We're still in the teens that made the name of themselves as the Darling Mermaid Darlings. Many, many, many years later, still holding on to the fading glory of those wonderful darties. It lives, lives have changed forever. When Lily, well, when Lily, well, cleaned the litter box, got dirty cat sad in her eyes, oh my. Not only did she lose her eye, but the Darling Mermaid Darlings lost their careers. They retreated behind the fence and made sure Well, stayed on the other side. Hello, uh, uh, my name is Ned. I lived next door 20 years ago. I was a friend of Chuck's, Charlotte's father. Please come in, please, Charlotte was a firecracker. Always trying to get us out of the house. Fred in the bank, then to the restaurants in our food. Got to the point I was scared to eat anything she got. She's a good cook, a nice girl. Do you like girls? Yes, ma'am. Charlotte was a nice girl with an exception of puberty. Which is when Lily was going through a change of life. Impolite to discuss about person menopause. A mixed company. She nearly killed me. Hard all the way Charlotte died on a cruise. Lay our stays were spent surrounded by middle aged, overweight women who wear sweatshirts with things sewn to them. Usually kittens made of felt. The food is perfectly atro- atrocious. Unless you enjoyed vomiting and diarrhea, could imagine she she had a good last meal. A good last meal can go a long way. A penis system makes a makes a point of it. There, that is nice. She had a little glimpse of the world for his diner. The world isn't that great. At least that she, she has a good sense not to fly. Everybody's fall out of the sky every day. Cheese? I would recommend the pure goat. It lies bow ash. It is a greasy, fla- grassy flavour. It does have a grassy flavour. It's delicious with Charlotte's honey. You didn't have lived until you tasted that honey. Homeless, uh, homeless love it. Not to change the subject, but as crews return to her belongings, specifically a stainless bare steel briefcase, Chuck couldn't remember why she's so desperate to leave this life behind. She missed the arts, she missed the bees, she missed everything she was, hello, struggling monthlies, put an end to her life. Chuck didn't want to be remembered as a lonely tourist. I did remember something sweeter. I wear Lily's feet upstairs. The pie maker did his best to confront Vivian. Vivian, Charlotte oh, oh, always wanted to get away. Go away further than uh, any of us thought. In a very moment of sensibility, he reached out and touched her, not realising she didn't like being touched, to see if she needs any help bringing it down. Didn't I... Didn't I kill you? I can hold my breath for a long time. Ah, that jig appears to be up. Aunt Lady was looking directly at her niece. Her niece, who wasn't supposed to be alive, if she possessed two good eyes, she would have seen her. A rush of warmth washed over the pie maker. He came later, he would later describe a feeling of delight. Girl he'd rescued from death returned to the flavor, uh, retain the flavor. Following the former, done May and May, darlings, Vivian and Lillian Charles, defeated a Delhi home invader who may have some connection to smuggling-related mur- smuggling related murder. The niece, Charlotte Charles, when asked about a darling mermaid, darlings, reunion his sisters, mentioned a benefit performance to support Honey, the homeless, and was, was in the works. Was it really an act of kindness? Me, here? Are you trying to do something good for no reason then help, help me? I was being, I was being thought selfish. I'd have to tell myself I'm not being unselfish. But I've been, I know deep down I'm being unselfish for selfish reasons. I just thought my world would be a better place if it were, if you were in it. 
If there's anything else I should know, the pie maker wanted to tell Jack about a faithful afternoon when he eventually killed her father. She insisted he should, he, he said he, so he said no. I figured since it cost my life, I should not, not got to keep one. And seeing as I wouldn't be alive if you weren't for you, I want you to have the other one. Like those half heart heart velvet pendants set for monkeys. Mm. Thank you for bringing me back, me back to life. You're welcome. Ah. Oh. There were well, these are heavy. The monkeys' value was significantly more than sentimental. They were golden. A man who killed Chuck was wounded by aunt, killed one lily of the collecting fifty thousand pound wool. Vivian Lily had a renewed interest in the world on the other side of the fence. They retreated from the re- retreated from the retreat, took the plunge. Emerson Cod was plunged into something else altogether. Free may split. The whole thing. It's a sort of reincarnation, but immediate, sort of. Do you believe in reincarnation? Hell no. Pay its fully part. Right now, it's a people, child, children problem. If we reincarnate, reincarnate, it's our problem. I'm then, are you the toxicologist? Yes. Aren't you, aren't you the dog expert? No. Uh huh. The raw facts were these. One, Matthew Maverick, a petty, uh, sophisticated scuba, Professional for 37 years, 6 hours and 41 minutes, Tom uh, Old was found dead in a lobster tank, a furniture steak, a lobster house. Before Mr. Seamberg could get the suffix of his divine, Chuck thought it would be nice to ask, Hey, do you have any last words or thoughts or requests? What? Just something I didn't, never uh, forgot, thought to ask. As we stared at her, as, as, as he stared at her, he reached around her his back and held his own hand, pretending he was holding hers. And at that very moment, she was pretending to be holding his.